Welcome back. My name is Tyler Piku. The game is Final Fantasy 16. Last time we continued on our hunt for all these side quests. And yet more spring up in their place. When will it ever end? Mm, not that I'm upset. You alright? Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. And I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm, but not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No, one made from the feather of a silver chocobo. <laughs> There's not lucky in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, uh, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I try and track one down myself, only. Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to, aye. I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. Sir. Sir. You are in possession of a silver chocobo. Just pluck one of her feathers. Give it to Gav. Problem solved. <clears throat> Ambrosia's right there. Hey, Kalo Tishvigans. He has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> a silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Though you're not the first to mention the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some guide hovel not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. Ambrosia. <clears throat> or maybe she's too white as opposed to silver? Hello, hi now. Any of you merchant types up here? No? Okay, they're not in the rest. Only got the oxen free. Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. I've got greens of all shapes. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the Vicerine? Uh, maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. Hmm. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Now, where forth art thou? 
Last, there you are. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. It sounds almost too good to be true. But, since I'm already here... I don't know, she looks plenty silver to me. What do I know? Still don't rightfully know what these things are for. Straight home now. It's active. This one's awake. <clears throat> Chronoliths are similar to the arena stone in that then them is held hid in a virtual battlefield accessible with Clive and Clive alone. Each Chronolith presents Clive with a trying trial in which he must combat new ways of deadly enemies equipped only with the feet and abilities of a single icon. Let's see what's inside. So do I get some kind of reward for beating these? Trial by Element. To complete the trial, Clive must defeat all enemies before time runs out using only the predetermined feet and abilities of a single icon. Oh, so it's predetermined, eh? Buying time. Time can be assigned by performing certain battle techniques specified before the start of each trial phase. Interesting. Shift combos. I can use Rising Flame and Cyclone. So basically the first two I ever had. Finish with the Rising. Finish with the Collateral. Precision dodges, give me a second. Okay, yeah. First kill. The same three times. Six bonuses. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. with which to stagger you. That wasn't so bad. Stage one complete.
Stage two. Now I've got Heat Wave instead of Uprising. Heat Wave Counter. Spell enemy projectiles, huh? The stupid thing dead. Okay, yeah, that was a little tougher. Hmm. Probably heard that somewhat poorly, but uh Hopefully I can not mess up too badly here. Flames of Rebirth.
Oh, hi! He's done it. Um, how many stages are there? Four, five, ten. Stage three, three, it says on the bottom. I guess there's a fourth. It says vinyl. An Ariman. I got Flames Rebirth and Rising Flames again. Uh, it's a little under a minute to kill him. Why am I losing time so fast? Okay. Hmm. That felt like a lot less than a minute. I need to be better with my time then.
I don't remember if this is better or worse than what I had before. I think it was worse. Alright, I think that was pretty good, actually. I should probably wait here until my skills recharge. At least one of Actually, don't both my skills get replaced here? Well, yeah. 
track of both of them at the same time is the problem. do that much better. Oh, actually I did a lot better than I thought I did. I got an additional 20 seconds. <laughs> okay, let's let my HP... Well, I don't think my skills refresh between. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna wait here until Flames of Rebirth is off cooldown. See if it refreshes or not, actually. Now you passed. So if you refresh. I was a lot closer that time, but still not quite enough. I reckon I'd need about a minute 45. <sighs> so I need to get better at exploiting the uh, land 10 magic bursts. Billy finishes, three punishes. Okay.
Beautiful, beautiful. We're sitting pretty at three minutes now. It was gorgeous. That was dumb of me right here. Not getting this bonus. Oh well. Three minutes. Can I maintain this? I better pay attention to what gets me points. Or time, anyway. Heat wave counters. Basically, I don't know how to do that. want to go for your final I bled a lot of time there. That's bad. No heat wave counters. That's a problem. You're no good with heat wave, it seems. Flames of Punishment. Strike a stagger enemy with Flames of Rebirth. I can do that.
There should be plenty of time. Should be plenty of time. A whole minute more than what I had last time and I got it down to about 30%. Prepare for your end. Pain in the butt. Get out of here. Trial run trophy earned. Complete a chrono the trial. Ooh, only 500? Ooh, favor of fire. Increases flames with worth damage by 
This would have been good if I had gotten this before the Genji Gloves, which gave me a flat 5% across all my damage. Still, it's nice to know where to find these things. I'm gonna have to go track down the other monoliths, aren't I? Trial by fire complete, the hand of Hyperion. And the final trial, new level of chrono. No lift difficulty. The final trial is now available with not always stone. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna go get Gav's chocobo feathers and then end the episode because time to fight. That took me nearly 45 minutes. For a change. So they gotta be this way somewhere. Oops. Definitely chocobo tracks. <clears throat> More tracks. And these look fresh. Chocobo was here, and recently. Perhaps it still is. I don't hear anything. Well, I'll be damned. change their minds. My, but don't those two look so similar to Ambrosia. Hmm. Black clouds and thunderbolts. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? To the people of the north, several chocobos are a symbol of good fortune. The mere sight of one potentially meaning the difference between a failed harvest and a bumper crop. According to Gav, at least. Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Involving an even longer uh, sidetracking. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long. Even if you hadn't have turned up, they'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. 
Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Huh. You can give it to yourself. Come on. Well. Cross. Side quest. Progression. You'd love to see it. That is something this game really does very well. Having different side quests impacting each other. Even if they seem on the face of it not related at all. Also, I see that little dot above you, Mr. Moogle. I see that you have something new for me on the quest board. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh, uh... Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family, too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah. <sighs> Clive, fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. You have it so bad, Yav. So bad. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. I thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. I had myself a baby sister, and then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink, while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never 
be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. I don't know about that one, Gav. You've pulled our ass out of the fire a couple of times now. Maybe. <laughs> Do you know why you're our best scout? Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination. I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like, uh... That was only the once. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you learn from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it? Who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Damn Skippy. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword. Oh, shut up, Gav. one too many you may have had ten too many I said I was thirsty gotta get back to work anyway after I walk this off have fun with your hangover uh, Clive what is it thanks for you know I know. <sighs> Alrighty then. Winter mead. Potent, potable, made, excuse me, made from honey collected in the Northern Territory short summers, fermented slowly over the next six moons, set to warm the belly on the North's cold winter nights. I said I was thirsty, Gav. You think they'll come back? All right. Well, I didn't make much headway in the side quest department, but well, depends on how you mean by side quest. Not in the green arrows, but definitely in the. Uh, finally, found out what these scattered all about the place mean. They're combat trials. <laughs> so I guess I'd better. Uh, Set aside time to go do them as well. But uh, until then, remember, like, comes driving, and if you be so kind, get off my lawn, you felt the casuals.